So when we talk about whether risk is a art or a science, uh, I mean the, the really black and white answer here is that it is a science. It is a, it's a mathematical measurement of different components uh, that is going to enable you to make some sort of decision. And, and when we talk about the components and we talk about you know, risk in general, and there's a lot of different formulas for risk and there's a lot of different reasons you measure risk, um, you have to take into context of the business you're in, the industry you're in, and um, what what type of decisions you're trying to make. So in, in, in you know, in security risk or privacy, um, what's the probability that that, that event can occur? Um, you know, how is it going to impact the organization that you're helping to protect or the, the business process you're helping to protect? And, um, and, and when you use an appropriate assessment process, and whether that's like the FAIR process or any of those that looks at um, uh, impacts around your revenue or impacts around, you know, financial measurements, you know, if you're, if you're, whether you're following the money, you're following the brand, or you're, you know, you're looking at um, other key areas of potential uh, downstream residual impact to economies or to help patient health. All of those things have to have a measurement component to make it a consistent, um, available measurement, um, a, a mathematical formula that allows you to make those type of decisions. So it's a science. From a business perspective, risk management is more of an art. It's about being able to act on your gut, to be able to respond nimbly, to be able to you know, adapt to the changing things happening in the market. I think one of the challenges, though, is that you've got to appeal to people who don't really believe in gut. So you have to be able to talk to you know, CFOs, for example, who are all about financial models and numbers and things like that. So I think really good business people are able to dig up enough data, enough facts to be able to convince the people who are either you know, financial or a lot of the technical CISOs that we deal with that need all this data, you know, be able to dig up enough data to show that your gut is right. You know? But I still believe most of it lies in the gut. From a security perspective, I think where a lot of this tension really comes in is when you try, you have art meeting science, you know, where the scientists, the security professionals, the people who have all this data, doing all this analytics, trying to pull in all the information, they want the right answer, you know, and you can never get to the right answer. You can never be as secure as you want to be. There's always going to be things you don't know about. And even the things you know about, you'll never know for sure if you're successful in defending the, the mission, you know, the goals and objectives of the business, the critical data and things like that. So a lot of it gets down to how do we blend this? How do we get enough data so that we feel satisfied from a security perspective that we're doing good, you know, enough stuff to protect the business? How do we make business cases to show where we're worried that we don't have the data to show that we're doing the right things where we can justify having the business invest more money in what we do, you know? So a lot of this gets down to how do we pull this together in a way that, um, you know, we, we have enough confidence around the data, always knowing we never know everything, and that we can portray what we do in a way that drives confidence for the people who's you know, really treat this as an art. And uh, I think that's really where it comes together is you gotta be able to satisfy both sides and it's about people more than it is about the data.